Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and CoolsCheapLaptops.com. Today I want to give you a little review on um, a nice little uh, video editing program that I discovered. Um, it's called Magic Video Easy 3 HD and this is the download version. Um, and you can find it at www.magic.com. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and open this up so we can see how this uh, looks. Opens up, initializes its uh, various um, utilities that it needs to, to run and uh, then it prompts you to um, what do you want to do create a new video load video project or watch your intro the intro is very good but um, I'm doing my own little review here so uh, at any rate let's go ahead and go down to load recently uh, open projects I'm going to open this one up that I already uh, started with and uh, it's really cool I can do all kinds of things in um, video easy um, as you can see the controls are very very big um, and it's not for people who can't see it's just very very user friendly and very easy to use this program um, up top we have set object uh, you can add um, you can set object I'm sorry you can uh, adjust the brightness contrast saturation speed uh, the hue and uh, there's some more actions here you can copy effects uh, apply all effects and uh, certainly apply effects to all of the following objects and I can actually in this video editor, which uh, I can't do in uh, Microsoft uh, Movie Maker or Microsoft um, Windows, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Windows Live Movie Maker, uh, you can't play the video backwards. Here you can, so that's a pretty cool little feature, I thought. Um, at any rate, you can also um, up top here you can uh, add title and text, and you can change the font size, the uh, and the uh, the font that you want. To, you can choose the font, the alignment, center, left or, or right, and of course the um, the color that you want your um, text to be. Add the shadow and outline or without outline um, animation. Uh, that's pretty cool. You can make it go from. Uh, um, the object move from left to right, or the text rather, um, and uh, right to left, top to bottom, and bottom to top. Um, you can also um, vary vary the times in which it shows on uh, that particular frame, the duration, and uh, certainly um, how soon you want to hide that text also. Um, and, and also down here we've got uh, some other items. We can um, add photos. We can go out and add a photo. And I'll just go ahead and do that right now. Uh, let me see if I can find a photo. How about my dog Max? I can go and click on my dog Max and add that photo. I can add music. Um, I can go out here and add sample music. Grab that one, for instance, and bring that right on in. And there's actually a music track right right below the um, storyline that um, allows me to um, manipulate and edit the uh, the music as well. And then there's also another track available um, that allows me to record audio from a microphone, which is what I'm doing right now. And um, let's see, what else? Um, movie, and this is how I brought the movie into um, Video Easy 3D. You can bring the movie into it by selecting files from the computer or importing from a digital camera. It supports almost virtually all digital cameras and camcorders. Um, and or you can in, in, uh, import videos from an analog source also a video recorder so I think that's pretty cool um, let's close that and uh, let's see what else oh, audio I think I mentioned audio a little bit about the track down here I can actually click on audio recording and uh, in this case I'm recording from my microphone here my webcam microphone at Logitech C310 and I can actually record from that um, or choose a different one and I can stop uh, stop the recording and uh, and record so um, that's pretty good I can also adjust once I record something um, down here I can adjust the recording volume on the background uh, volume for that audio track um, rather it's the music or the um, dialogue um, me um, sitting here talking so I think that's pretty good um, also you can go up here and there's lots of video, uh, video effects as well you can change the way something looks up top here. Um, certainly, um, you can um, make it look a little different and add some noise or move dark or old image. Um, yeah, it, it varies, so it works. Um, you know, you got lots of effects here that you can certainly use and make uh, make use of on your uh, on your video. And you have a reset button. Also, you can also preview it to um, double click and previews it as well. I'm gonna reset it back to the way it was. And uh, let's go ahead and take uh, this. I can actually move 
this quite easily on the storyline. This this uh, photo um, that I brought in or imported into um, Video Easy 3D uh, 3HD, and I can move it over to the right or whatever. Um, also, um, or back to the right. Um, also, I can remove it. And uh, but before I remove it, I can right click on this, and uh, literally click on Object Properties, and I can give the object a different name. I can also change the aspect ratio. Uh, I can go 4.3, 16.9. 16.9 is nice for high definition, and I can click OK. And I can also leave a little comment about that uh, that photo if I wanted to. I can say that uh, this was just a test for um, my review. Uh, I review D I E W. Okay, and uh, click OK on that. And uh, as you can see, I went ahead and got the 16.9 um, um, aspect. Okay, um, I can also adjust the, uh, I can rotate it 90 degrees to the right or back, uh, rotate it back uh, to, uh, to the left. And I can also, at the same uh, also I can display the duration. I can change the duration time, um, how long this particular photo remains in the video, the length of time it stays in. I can go up to, uh, I don't know, was it uh, 59 hours? <laughs> I hope not. Uh, at any rate, um, for instance, I can go about right about, oh, I don't know, five or six seconds is pretty cool. Um, okay, um, so I'm going to cancel it out and leave it as it was. Right now, by default, it's about seven seconds um, that stays in the video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove that. I can click an X and make that disappear. And I can start my video here. And you can hear the music. Okay, and that was the uh, music that I added on the music track. Um, I can also right click on on this um, object and uh, go to object properties and then I can uh, pretty much change the object name, uh, rename it and change the aspect ratio on the uh, video also and give it a comment if I chose to. Okay, um, and of course I could put it back to 4.3 and certainly um, that doesn't look as good as the 16.9 uh, so I'm going to move it right back to 16.9 that, that uh, 1280 by 720 pixels is uh, is is the best way to look at the at videos these days, which is high definition uh, widescreen. Okay, I can also uh, split the um, video um, into two different frames or two different scenes by moving the guideline here, and I'll move it right there and click on the split scene button here, and now I have two different scenes um, and. Um, on the right hand side here I can uh, move that scene over to the left if I wanted to and reverse the the scenes but uh, that would be out of sequence but uh, I just wanted to show you that I can move video scenes as well anywhere in uh, in any sequential order I choose um, I can also uh, in between scenes here um, that I split I can uh, right click right here and put a transition in um, I can move it to black or um, certainly I can click on more and there's a lot more transitions that uh, I can choose from here. Um, for instance, I can go, um, um, how about rotation? Uh, let's try that one, see what that looks like. And uh, that will rotate and give me a, a, a visual effect between uh, two scenes. And uh, certainly um, there's a lot to choose from. And, uh, um, that's something that um, I think is pretty cool. Nice little selection of transitions there. Um, okay, uh, the next item I wanted to talk about was the um, up top here. We can go and uh, certainly we can uh, uh, do obvious things like open a new project or open our last project access. And also there's a pretty cool thing here. It's called automatic movie editing. If I chose to um, not do any editing myself and just uh, um, want it to be lazy, I could click on automatic editing and um, Video Easy would um, give me the ability to um, produce a movie that it believes um, is the appropriate, appropriate editing for this particular movie. And I can determine the, um, the video length, short or long, and also the uh, cutting and soft blend. I can do the selection here, I can do chill out, relax, uh, there's a, a few selections. And uh, I can also actually create the video preview here. And I can go ahead and play this and see what it's going to look like.
Okay, for a short video, that wasn't that wasn't too shabby at all. Um, if I had a really long video, like 10 or 15 minutes or even a half an hour, um, I would want to go in there and manually do some editing myself because uh, um, automatic video editing has a tendency to um, split scenes where um, I personally uh, wouldn't want a scene to be split. But, uh, you know, that's certainly a matter of taste and uh, certainly this is something that... Uh, um, an option that uh, is uh, I would take advantage of on short videos. Okay, um, let me go ahead and cancel out on this and uh, go back up here. Um, let's see, there's a cleanup wizard which cleans up all your temporary files, save, save as, import. Um, certainly um, you can go out on the internet and uh, Magic has a few uh, online um, um, web pages or, or um, items on their website that uh, you can utilize and take advantage of. And uh, I mentioned audio capture, and uh, there's backup. You can back up your, uh, make a backup copy to uh, any media you want, and certainly burn it to a DVD. You can also burn your whole project and your whole video to a DVD and play it on your, uh, you know, um, on your video player, on your entertainment center, um, and uh, or on your uh, computer, uh, which is pretty cool. Okay, and the uh, last thing that uh, you would want to do in a video editor, of course, is go ahead and uh, finish your movie and convert it into a uh, format of uh, high definition. Okay, and you click on finish movie and this comes up. Please select the desired export option and you can burn the video to disk, save on computer, upload to the internet such as Facebook or YouTube and uh, upload to the internet magic online album that they, uh, a cloud that they have up on their web server or you can export it to a mobile device like your iPhone or an iPod and, and you can also archive the project to a DVD and or archive the project on the computer. And uh, in this case, if I saved it to my computer, I get a selection of high quality. I can go web quality, DVD, um, high quality 1 and 2. And in this case, it would be high definition uh, 1280 by 720. And I could say save and choose where to save it. And I would sit here and go ahead and click on save. And my video would be uh, doing its conversion process into a uh, suitable formatted file, uh, video file. Okay, we've come to the end of my review for Magic Video Easy 3 HD. And in summary, I have found this um, video editor to be filled with a lot of very useful features and um, very user-friendly. And uh, I like using it.